What's up guys, it's Dollmatter here, and today we're going to be reacting to another habitual line crosser video. So this one is probably a real conversation. Uh, so we got Russia in the thumbnail. This is obviously something about, I'm guessing, the Ukraine-Russia conflict. Um, other than that, no idea what this one's about. This seemed to mostly be about the Ukraine-Russia thing, so far at least. Uh, there's been a couple that haven't been, but most of them are about that conflict. But anyway, link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. And why is this? Oh, it's muted for some reason. Okay. I may need some information from you on how to deal with America. Oh, that is a very easy way to deal with <laughs> American. Finally, give me your secret. Run to Pakistan. Run, Run to, to Pakistan. Pakistan. You fought them for twenty <clears throat> years. Let me explain some things to you. In those twenty years, they never retreated once. Have you heard of Clint Romache? We outnumbered him and his men like seven to one, and they still beat us. We killed less of them in 20 years of fighting than we did on 9-11. When Americans show up, they're not there to die. So you suggest that I just run away. Yeah, that's one of the things that always drives me crazy. People say America lost, lost Afghanistan. And it's not really true. I bet you, even if I go to Wikipedia, I bet you if I go to the uh, Afghan war page, Afghanistan war. Um, Wikipedia. I'm uh, assuming it'll say that America lost it. Uh... see uh results taliban victory yeah uh islamic state uh, taliban conflict and insurgency in kyber continues anti-taliban republican insurgency begins yeah so like they, they still say it was a taliban victory right which is I, in some ways correct but in some like it's really not right like america just pulled out because they got sick of being there and a lot of that has to do with the fact that they were you know the the american military brass or the american political brass right whoever whoever you think is making the decisions um was not willing to do what they needed to do in order to win right you, it, but you have an islamic radicalism thing right you needed to basically de-islamify the country kind of like you know you denazify germany after world war ii but they were not willing to do that because it would it would go against part of their you know strategic goals in, in the larger scheme which had had to do with not like you know basically not starting a religious war in the middle east right and if you go there and you forcibly convert all these people to you know atheism or christianity or whatever you know something that's not islam it's going to instantly start a, a you know a a holy war between you know the west and islam and they didn't want to do that uh so because of you know they were they were not willing to do what they needed to do in order to get a victory right it was inevitable that there was going to return to this as soon as they pulled out um but yeah like it, it's hard to say that's a loss when they you know they go there they control the country for 20 years with you know you know obviously the, the deaths are bad but compared to like other conflicts very little death and then they decide to pull out. And, you know, the withdrawal was fucking terrible, right? Obviously, the amount of military equipment that they left behind, the amount of people that were, you know, allied with the West that we left behind, that was a, a fucking disaster and a half, undeniably. But to say that, they, you know, the, the Taliban won is just ridiculous. You do whatever you want. Or, well... Let's say the Taliban defeated the Americans is ridiculous. Do you know what the Spectre gunship is? It's when you have so many guns that you want to make fly, you have to use a cargo plane. And then they left. We thought everything was fine. And out of nowhere, Hellfire knife missile threw one of our people. <laughs> the Hellfires explode, and that one didn't. So I like to call it the Satan stab. Would Satan you just stab. Go home already? <clears throat> you see this shit, Russia? These guys are not okay. <laughs> I know we're <laughs> These guys are not okay. <laughs> yeah. Man, ugh. Yeah, uh, I don't even know what to say. Anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.